Hello and welcome to my channel and I am Stephanie and this is the wrap up for 24 and 48 readathon. Hello, looking all crazy and stuff. I am taking a reading break so that I can go to the library and pick up some library books. I need something to like hold my uh, hold my camera while I'm in my car. Um but I'm on my way now. Okay. So I'm on my way to my library to get my books that I have checked out and I'll post a picture of that but 24 and 48 is on point. I read for an hour last night um, at midnight until 1 a.m. or it was like 12.15 until 1 a.m. So 45 minutes and then I set my alarm and I actually got up at at six o'clock in the morning and by 6.15 I, oh, that's just gonna be so horrible. I uh, got started with my audiobook of Beautifully Damaged by L.A. Fior and it was, it is so good. Oh my goodness, this is L.A.'s first book and it's not her first book that I have read, that I have read, but it's the first book that she wrote. And oh my gosh, people, so good. So freaking good. I'm like completely addicted to it uh, and can't wait to get through it and finish it and read it and find out how their story goes and all that goodness. Trace and Ember are amazing. Two amazing characters and they're damaged and they're beautiful and yeah, all kinds of goodness. So I don't usually, wow, what the heck? The library just opened at like 10 o'clock and they have like a full parking lot. What is really going on right now? Um, so I don't usually post while I'm in the library and my library is like super small. I'll show you guys. And I have them on, I have these books on hold. So I'm just gonna run in and pick them up. But I'll definitely take a picture of what I get when I come back out. That was probably the quickest trip to the library I have had in a long time. I actually thought more books had come in, but the only one that did arrive was this book called Fresh Water Road by Denise Nichols. And this book is going to fulfill my um, African American or black author uh, books that I have been wanting to read all year long for Blackout 2018. And this book is um, written by a black author who also happens to be an actress. And she actually grew up, what appealed me or what called to me was that this author grew up in Michigan, in Detroit, um, where I grew up. I didn't grow up in Detroit, but I grew up in Michigan. And it's about the University of Michigan, which is where I grew up in Ann Arbor. So I really wanted to read this. Um, it's, it says, it's a young, privileged black woman raised in Detroit. Celeste has begun to realize that she knows as little about her race as her ex, as her white ex-boyfriend. So she heads to the South to soar up her own Negroness. And I hate that word, so it's gonna be really hard for me to say it. Uh, which she thought she was above. Spread out beside Celeste on a train is a paper entitled how to stay alive in Mississippi. When she steps off the train in Jackson, she sees her first whites only sign. Torn between pride and, pride and compassion, Celeste volunteers to help blacks register to vote during the freedom summer. So I'm super excited about that. I don't um, 
usually like books like this um, but as I have been saying on my channel I've been trying to broaden my horizon and open my mind to different genres and different books and stuff like that and this definitely is going to do that it also will it'll also be part of my 2018 romance roundup as one of the historical fiction books so yes I am just knocking down these challenges left and right and I probably won't get to this during 24 and 48 but I went and picked it up during that so that was my library break so I'm back home and I'm about to start reading again but before I do that I figured I would make myself some tea and get ready to buckle in and hopefully finish this book in the next couple of hours and start a new one. Let's quickly talk about how hard it actually is to do 24 hours of reading. Oh my gosh. So I am currently stopping. Um, I'd say about mm, 20 minutes ago I stopped. Actually, it's been longer than that. Um, I stopped at 13 hours and like 10 minutes. I don't know. I'll put the photo that I Put up of the stopwatch um, at this time when I stopped but wow 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 so I completed one book which I'm super excited about which was beautifully damaged by LA Fior so good I still can't believe that that was LA's first book and it was just I thought it was great I loved it it had romance it had a little bit of a twist to it and it has some sensitive topics but um yeah still really good um and then I tried to really get caught up with uh, respect by Alethea Roman but I ended up falling asleep Ooh, on it and that was because I was reading on my Kindle and that's always bad when I'm not being interrupted by my boys. Oh, can you tell I'm tired? Um, so after I took my quick little, like, hour, hour and a half, two hour nap, I got up and went back to my audiobook and I got about 
like four hours, I guess, of night film done. No, it couldn't have been that long. I don't think it was that long, but I stopped on page 125 because I actually have the physical book and I was listening to it on audiobook. So I was sort of turning the pages as I was going, but I got 125 pages of that book read out of 599. Oh my God, it's so big. And so then I had to switch it up at dinner time. I went and got something to eat, but at the same time I was listening to Lies She Tells or Lies She Told. And that book is really, really interesting, like super interesting. Um, I definitely understand sort of the hype, I guess, that is roaming around booktube. Yes, because when I put it in my TBR, someone had mentioned that it was being hyped on booktube. So, you know, I thought it was really good. Um, I think it's really good. It's really has this like sort of the affair. If you watch the affair on Showtime, it has that sort of feel to it, but not really. It's about a writer and her characters and it's mystery and suspense. And I don't know that you could put it in romance, but it definitely has some aspects there, but it's different and it's very intriguing. And I um, started feeling a little tired. So right there at that 13 hour mark, six hours into that audiobook, which is nine hours and 55 minutes long. I went ahead and put the kibosh on that and stopped it so that I don't miss a single moment of what's going on. Yes. So 13 hours out of 24 out of the 48. Um, it's 10 o'clock at night and well, it's 11 o'clock now as I'm filming this, but I'm going to have to stop. I'm going to have to go to sleep and it is super long. I don't know that I'm going to make the whole 24. That should be fairly interesting because I have errands and family things to do tomorrow. So I don't know that I'm going to be able to get 12 hours of reading in, but we will see. Maybe I'll wake up early and try and get some in before we have to go do our errands and while we are doing our errands, I may listen a little. <sighs> but I'm definitely finding for a readathon, having things on audiobook is going to be the way to go. The way to go. I mean, granted, I do have to keep sort of close to somewhere where I can charge my phone when it starts to get low from being on, you know, Audible or Hoopla or Overdrive for all that time. But yes i am really enjoying this really really enjoying this um i think even if i um even though they only do these readathons like twice a year or maybe two or three times a year i don't know i signed up so i will be definitely like cued in on when they'll be doing this again but if i just get a wild hair and be like hey i want to do 24 and 48 let me just do it. I know that I will probably be trying to read audiobooks using audiobooks versus trying to read what's on my Kindle. So all those pretty, pretty covers that I put in my TBR and said that I wanted to read. Yeah, I don't think I'll be getting to those, but I will be definitely doing some serious audiobook listening and doing it that way. Or I might change it up. I don't know how I'll do it. But now I'm just rambling because I'm tired. But that is it for day one of 24 and 48. I'll see you guys in the morning. And when I check in. And Twitter has been great. Instagram has been great. And yeah. Look forward to it. It's gross. And it's rainy out. And... I am going to the commissary doing adult things because my family makes me, I don't like recording outside because people look at me like I'm crazy, but I had to take a break from my reading. So mad, so mad. 
But since I'm in the commissary, I can pop in my earbuds and I can listen to my book. Super excited about that. Yes. All right, so I'm back, done adulting. And now I gotta put away groceries. Yay. Woohoo. And then I will be able to get back to reading. Yeah. Really? You gotta give me some funny ears. <laughs> oh, what to deal, what to deal with them. They're so, they're just them. And, there's our puppy. Because it's like there's something in there for me. There must be. Really? <laughs> You're gonna be on camera, don't mess with me. So I'm 18 hours down. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I need six more hours of reading to hit that 24 mark. Woo! And it is three o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know, it's the three, six, that puts it at nine o'clock. So I guess I need to get on that back, back on that reading thing that I, I was doing. I might need to help put away the groceries first. Yeah. What was that? That was a yes. You got something to say? Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, man. Camera. I'll cut you out. Over this last weekend, the 24 and 48 readathon was going on. Um, yeah. Can we talk about how crazy that is? Oh my goodness. Reading for 24 hours out of 48 is crazy. Can we talk about how tiring it is for one? For two, oh my goodness. You guys that actually read like actual books, I commend you. Yes, I do because I just couldn't do it. Oh my goodness, audiobooks have now become my new best friends and I'm completely addicted. Can we talk about hashtag addicted, okay, to audiobooks. Love, love, love them. I will link my TBR up in the cards up there or maybe up there um, so you guys can go take a look at what I tried to read. I think I had about... I had seven things that I was going to try to read during the during the readathon and let's get into what I did read what I didn't read and all that goodness so the first book that I finished and is on my TBR I actually finished this book before the readathon actually started but that was Wench by Dolan Perkins Valdez and I finished that book so I'm not going to include it in this wrap up because I didn't technically read it during the readathon but I did finish it and it is on my TBR so if you want to know more about that one please check out my January 2018 wrap up video which hasn't come out yet so no worries there but then the next book that I'm going to talk about is Night Film by Marisha Pessel and I was listening to that on audiobook I got I actually had a physical copy of that book as well as listening to it on audiobook. I got about 125 pages into it says 600 and something pages on Goodreads but my physical copy actually has it at about 599 pages so that tells you I got about 20% into that book right there. It's actually kind of big and thick so that one's gonna take me a little longer. It was projected to be 23 hours of listening so yeah I got a good chunk in there so 20% is pretty good in my box. Um, then the next book that I talked about in my TBR was Lies She Told by Kate Holahan and and I'm probably saying that name all wrong. We're gonna go with it. But I listened to that on audiobook and that was a, a nine hour and 55 minute book. Oh my goodness, so good. So very good. It, oh yes. When I put the TBR out, someone had commented that this was a book that was very hyped here on booktube. And I must say, um, 
giving the hand clap to it it's definitely well worth the hype for me i really enjoyed it i did sort of see where the storyline was going but then there were some extra crazy twists that were thrown in there and i was like oh ooh, ooh. yeah didn't see that coming so this story is about a writer she's a romance suspense writer and she's writing a book oh other than that i can't tell you anymore because that might spoil it for you but just know that it had me on my edge of my seat pretty much the whole time there was a point where it was getting late in the evening and i was like oh i need to turn this off because i don't want to miss a thing i don't want to miss a thing the next book i'm going to talk about is a lust killer by Anne rule i actually nixed this book off of my tbr because Whew. some of the other books that are coming up i just i had to give my brain a break when it came to the mystery and things of that nature so i nixed that one so we're gonna go on to the next book on my tbr and that is beautifully damaged by la fior i listened to this book on audiobook it was 10 hours and 20 12 minutes long and I loved it I loved it I loved it I loved it I have read a few other LA Fior books and I don't know why it took me so long to get to this book because this book was amazing it was so amazing this book is about Amber Ember she's a writer and you have Trace who is a fighter they have this sort of chance meeting and it's a slow burn sort of but at the same time they have dark past and they have things that they have to work through and there's drama and frustration and woo, a mystery that goes along with it but there's romance and yes yes then we have respect by alethea roman which is on my tbr list and that book ranged out at 415 pages i did not complete that book during the readathon but i completed it today which is the day after and well not today when you guys are saying this you guys are saying this on tuesday uh, but i completed it on monday and that's because i went and got the the audiobook for it i was yes i went and got the audiobook for it so technically i got about three hours and 32 minutes into that book before i put it down and that's out of a 10 hour and 47 minute book so right about 30 percent i got done and i was really it was okay it was a slow kind of journey for me so i'm only going to talk about the 30 or the three hours that i did read and that was just like it was it was a push it was a push it was a very big push and that actually made me realize that i during readathons will have to stick with audiobooks especially readathons like this because it's all compacted into 24 hours and on a weekend out of 48 and it's just like yeah it's easier for me to listen to a book than it is to physically actually read it either in e-copy or in physical copy and we all know me and physical copies don't get along very well anyways but e-copies i usually do a really good job and it just wasn't wasn't flowing for me but once i got the audiobook it was completely different but i won't talk anymore about that one because that's going to be in my january wrap up as well which you haven't came out yet next is going to be i tried or was going to read she asked for it by willow winters and i wasn't able to get to that because i only had it in e-copy but yeah so i can't check that one off but i did i did read the mother road by megan quinn which was subbed in as a audiobook because i needed something a little different because i was reading a lot of mysteries and suspense and everything like that so i went and got this one i love me some megan quinn 
I absolutely love me some Megan Quinn. Megan Quinn rocks my world when it comes to romantic comedies. And I was like, oh yeah, she's gonna rock my world with this one. It's 10 hours, 12 minutes long, and oh did she ever. She brought the laugh out loud. I was laughing out loud in public, and people were looking at me like I was crazy because I was listening to it, and her characters that were in this book were amazing. So the story revolves around, revolves around a young lady who her mother passes and they decide to take a family trip in their RV one last time in honor of her mother and yes so much funny so much funny and then and then Megan gets you right in the heart just duh, ah, and I'm crying and just ugh, all kinds of amazingness and after I completed that one I still had two hours left to read before I hit that 24 hour mark so I started Fake Fiance by Ilsa Madden Mills and I got two hours and 11 minutes into that six hour and 48 minute book and yeah oh my goodness it is a young adult slash new adult kind of college feel it's a quarterback that needs to make himself look good for the Heisman Trophy uh, candidacy. And you have this quirky sort of neighbor that her car gets hit by some chick that decides to sneak out of the quarterback's house. And it just kind of rolls from there. So the two hours that I have gotten into it, I'm really enjoying it. I like the little sass of our female character, Sunny. And Max is actually quite swoony to be the quarterback going for the Heisman and it's like okay what does he have in his little past you know I, 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 I kind of feel I'm feeling it I'm feeling it so that sort of wraps it up and if you weren't counting I will just do a whole little wrap up for you I completed three books and those three books were Lies She Told by Kate Hollihan, Beautifully Damaged by L.A. Fior, The Mother Lo The Mother Road by Megan Quinn and I started or were in different little places of Night Film by Marisha Pessel, Respect by Alethea Roman, and Fake Fiance by Ilsa Madden Mills. Overall, I had an amazing time doing 24 and 48. It's very tiring, but in my ears, we're definitely getting a workout, but yes, I truly enjoyed it. I got some coloring done and I could walk around my house with my phone and my earbuds in and stuff like that. So it's a great, great readathon. I can't wait to do it again in July. I already marked my calendar for that. So yes, hopefully you guys will join us. Let me know down in the comments if you did join us and if you have a wrap-up video, please let me know. I'd love to see you guys how you did on your progress. I tweeted a lot during this readathon and I loved all of the, the, the hearts that came from it and you know the supports and the fun little gifts and things like that that we sent each other. That was great. It shows that the community is out there and we're supportive of each other. I also figured out how to do Instagram and Facebook stories. So if you, if you follow me, which you can, all my information is down in the description box, um, and you want to follow my journeys, now that I know how to do Facebook stories and Instagram stories, I will probably be doing lots and lots of more of them because I have lots of reactions when I read books and I'm getting kind of off topic, but yes, follow me. All my information is down in the description box. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. I started a blog and a Goodreads group, so go check those out as well. Thank you for watching, and we will see you guys later.